Hey, what's up everybody? Tom here again. And uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what I like to wear on my rides when it's about 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit out. Um, so that can be a tough temperature to dress for because at the higher end, you're actually pretty warm. But on the lower end, it's pretty darn cold. And uh, I've seen people do all sorts of different approaches to trying to stay warm when it's in that mid 50s to 60s. So for me, 50 to 60 is a really good temperature to wear embrocation on the legs. And I like to keep as much off my legs and knees as I can. Like I don't like wearing knee warmers or leg warmers and things like that. I'd rather have my legs bare. Just feels like I can put out more power and have more freedom flexibility while I'm riding. So to me, 50 to 60 degrees is perfect embrocation weather. Uh, if you don't know what embrocation is, it's like a waxy, oily substance you put on your legs. And a lot of manufacturers you'll find they put uh, capation, cap capation, capation, something like that. It's like an ingredient in peppers. I'm butchering the pronunciation of it, but um, it helps bring blood to the legs keeps them warm and uh, definitely makes you feel a little bit more mo motivated to keep them moving to stay warm. And also kind of acts as a insulation barrier if the weather is kind of wet as well. That oily, waxy coating helps keep your legs kind of insulated from not only the cold, but also if it's kind of wet or rainy. So that's what I like to do when it's uh, when it's between 50 and 60s for my legs. Typically I'll wear like toe warmers on my shoes. I've, I've got my summer Giro Empire Aero shoes, like they're pretty ventilated is what I mean to say. Not aerodynamic, but they're ventilated. And I'll put toe warmers over when it's in the 50s to 60s. I usually don't wear uh, like shoe covers when it's that in that range. To me, that's just a little bit overkill. So toe covers, depending on if it's in the lower 50s, if it's in the upper 50s, then I'm usually not wearing toe warmers. And then for me, that's like long sleeve jersey weather or arm warmer weather. And I'll put a base layer under, underneath kind of whatever jersey I'm wearing. I, I can wear like a summer aero jersey with a wool base layer and that fits fine or that uh, keeps me warm just fine. But some kind of long sleeves because as far as I know, nobody puts embrocation on their arms. That's a little weird. And then, uh, yeah, I wear kind of like long fingered, lightweight leather Rafa gloves. You could wear any sort of long finger glove. If it's on the high side of the 50s, you probably could get away with, uh, you know, short finger gloves. But for me, that works out pretty well. And I'll also kind of wear like a neck gaiter on my head underneath my helmet. And I'll typically wear like my aero helmet, which is a little less ventilated in this temperature range, just to keep a little bit extra warmth on my head. So that's it. What did we talk about? Gloves, we talked about shoes and toe covers. We talked about legs and arms. And uh, yeah, hope that was helpful. Thanks everybody for tuning into the video. Um, if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more updates. And let me know in the comments what you guys do when it's 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit out. Would love to hear. Thanks and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.